Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, we're continuing my favorite series where I take influence from other countries and cultures and turn it into a drill beat. In this episode, I'll be focusing on Persia because it's been requested so many times. So I want to start with a sample. I'll build on that and hopefully we can make something crazy and unique. So let's get straight into it. All right, so to start with, I found this 15 minute sample, which should have something that I can chop. So I'm just going to play through it and see which parts I like. Even that first part sounds sick. Those parts as well. I already know this beat's gonna come out crazy, just from the sample. I feel like I could turn this into a simple Russ Millions type beat, but we'll see. So these parts sound all right, but I wanna take something a bit darker. This beat sounds sick actually. Could even just repeat it like that. I'm gonna cut that just so I can save it. And then maybe we could take that part as well. I'll fit it to the tempo. It says it's 164, but I think it changes throughout. So I might just have to chop and rearrange it a bit. Let's see, we could try to bring this back. That might be better. We'll repeat that twice. And then with this one, I'll make this unique as a sample as well. If you make it unique as sample, it saves it as its own audio file. So anything you do won't process the rest of the song. So let's bring this back. And then I could take this and copy that and add that here. Let's try this. Or maybe a bit further on like this. Fade it out. Yeah, that might work actually. Then copy this. And then just repeat back around. Yeah, this will sound crazy. Okay, I'm going to render this as well. Let's try pitching it down. Try like two. That could be hard. One more. No, I think just down two. Let's try reversing it as well. Alright, I'm feeling the chop, but I just want to check if there actually is anything else. What I'm going to do is reverse this main sample, and I'll do the same thing again. I'll just have a listen through, see if I can pick out some parts I like. Like this part here. Even just looping that would sound sick, so let's try that. So we've got that. I don't know which one I prefer. I'm feeling both of these. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to fade in this part, just because I think it comes in a bit too loud. And I'm just going to use EQ to take out some of the lows. I will just clean up some nasty frequencies. And then I'm just going to take out some of that hissing noise. You might not be able to hear it, but it's only subtle. Next, I'm just going to add a compressor, tame some of those peaks. Then I'm just going to widen it a bit. Just some stereo separation. And then just some reverb like always. All right, next I just want to add a layer of vocals and I found this preset in Sahara Voices. So I'm just adding the root note. And then maybe one five down. And yeah, in this section, just doing it the other way around. So A sharp first, then D sharp. It might work. And then for the vocal, just really simple mix. So I'm just filtering it with an EQ. I've got pancake, to send it between both ears, and then just some reverb. I want to hear what it sounded like with a sub bass as well. So I'm going to use my Aurora Drill Bank in Analog Lab. Yeah, sounds cold with the sub. But before I do that, actually, I want it to sound a bit more intense. So I'm thinking we could add a layer of strings, even a pad under there. Okay, I've just found this pad in Haifa called Desert Nights. Sounds like it'll be perfect. And again, I'm just going to use that root note just to create more tension. Or I could try both, so like this. Yeah, then copy that. Could even pitch that down. Or try both. Yeah, there we go. Then with that pad, I'm just going to add some tremolator, but bring down the mix. Just to give it a bit of movement. I want to change these vocals a bit. I think it's something like this. All right, next up, I found this pad in Stray Light called Abandoned Spaces. And same thing again. I'm just going to hold the root note. Sick. All right, I might have enough layers now. So what I'm going to do is mute the sub bass. I'll bounce this version and see if I can flip it again. Yeah, let's just render the master. As always, I'm going to set it to stretch, reverse it, set it to generic bleeding in case I make any cuts. Let's see how this sounds. 
Or we could pitch it down another one, actually. Sounds kind of sick. But I'm thinking cut it there and then start it from here. And yeah, we'll pitch it down one. That sounds kind of cold. Ah, but you know what? I don't think I'm liking this one as much. I actually liked this original before I rendered it. I think that sounds sick as it is. So yeah, I want to get the bounce going. So I'm going to add a pattern for drums. But before we get into the drums, if you want to know where I found the sample, I used a company called Tracklib. You've probably heard me talk about them a lot. And it's because they have such a sick collection of original samples and compositions. To find this one, I literally just went to tracks, went to filter tracks and typed in Persian. I took some time listening to each of the samples. And then I found this gem here. I clicked through instantly knew it was a vibe I wanted to flip and then if you want you can test it with drums just in case you don't want to waste any credits and you don't always have to search with a keyword you can browse through the collections or you can go to all of the tracks and narrow it down by the genre song key BPM release year and even the region and if you want to try and flip this same sample or any others on the track loop site I've left a link to it in the description along with 30 days and 15 credits completely free that's double the usual amount you'd get so make sure you use this link and yeah whilst we're on track loop I might even take another sample and see if I can grab some percussion I know when I was listening earlier there was loads I think it was this first one yeah, like there must be something I can take in here. So I've just dragged that into Edison and I'm just going to look through and see which parts I could take. Something like this, that one too. And I think we could just use some of those to create a bit of a percussion loop, but we'll just use the drill bounce. And then pitch this one down. And this one's like a roll, so we could get some of these in. Then we can get this third one in, maybe pitch it up a bit. But what I've done now is just root them all to an empty mixer and then sent them to the same boss. And we'll just clean this up a bit. I'm just going to pan some as well. We'll add a bit of half time. Then just a bit of delay. I'm gonna end up filtering this, I think. I just wanted it to sit underneath. Next, I've just added this shaper box filter, added some panning, and I've got the mix brought right down as well. And then I'm actually gonna render this. I'm thinking I could just include that in an intro or a bridge or something. All right, sick, and let's get some drill drums in now. So I'm gonna go to my Divine Bundle, of course, and the Chaos Kit. And for the count snare, I'm thinking something kind of heavy, something like this. Simple bounce. All right, let's grab a big snare. Something like this. Okay, we'll grab in something lighter like this. Copy that. I really don't need to go too crazy with this beat, so I'm gonna add an 808 in now. Okay, just real simple. Up to the same note again. And then change this one. Just fade those up. Let's double up the pattern because I always need some variation with the 882. Yeah, just switch up this bit as well. I think fade this one down. And then maybe pan these. And then just one slide. You really don't need many for this. All right, let's grab some perks as well. I always like to use this gassed up perk for these type of beats. Off of this one, I could just actually add a delay, set it to eight, bring down the volume and the input. We'll do ping pong. Perfect. 
and then we'll get another hit. Yeah, just something like this. And then maybe even the same type of delay. Got a few more of these. some atmosphere like i said i want to keep this one really simple so that's almost enough i'm just going to bring all of the drums in and actually let's try this flip again this might actually sound sick with the drums now well, that actually sounds cold if i lay that with a few things and just for a bit of variation i could take this and then just copy it here so yeah it'll be like this This actually sounds hard. I'm gonna render out everything in that melody. So just all the pads. Always just a bit easier to work with audio files rather than MIDI. So then you don't get those long tails of the reverb. All right, let's move this across. We'll bring that low pad. All right, so what I'm thinking is we have this whole section as the hook. And then it can come into this. Just keep it real simple. Loads of space for vocals. So yeah, let's do a quick arrangement. I think we'll just have this for the intro. The sub bass too. Also gonna take that percussion loop we made. I'm just gonna add some half time. Just so. And then we'll bring in the count snare here. Take out the sub bass. Maybe get some love filter on that. Yeah, I think we pitch it down for the intro too. Sounds kind of sick. Yeah, just an eight bar intro. And then yeah, we'll bring these back. Just copy these over. Definitely save the kick. And we'll save the count snare. Somewhere like here. I think save these effects too. Then we'll go back to my perk repeats. We'll get the shots fill. Then cut everything here. Then in this section, the verse can come in. So we can just cut a few more things. Yeah, it sounds sick changing over to this bit. So we'll copy that over, then copy everything. Could bring the pad back in though. I know actually, I know how to switch it up. So we're just gonna add kickstart in one section. We'll just bring the mix down a bit and that can come in here. Yeah, it's just gonna create more bounce. All right, so I've just made a few cuts. Yeah, transition's nice, so that might be the one. Blood a riser in there as well. Okay, I'm trying not to overdo it, but I want to add a drum fill. I'm going to add the count snare in the bridge as well. I can just copy all of this. But in this one, have the drums coming sooner. And then the icing on the cake, got a bit of camera flash. All right, we're finally done. And I spent way longer than I should have on this beat, but the arrangement's looking kind of mad, but I'll play it and see what you think. So this whole part's the hook, except the second time around, I just added the drums in a bit sooner. So we've got kickstart in here too. Switch up sounds crazy. It's a good job I changed my mind and took that second part. I feel like the beat would have got boring without it. Kickstart again. Seems simple this part, but once someone's spitting on it, they'll have so much space. Could hear it in a drill cipher. So yeah, if you're feeling this beat and you want to see more from the country series, click up here. Or to see me cook up other genres like a 50 cent type beat, click up here.